So welcome to License Check for April 2015. This is a show where I'll be talking about the anime series licensed in the past uh, month in North America, so for North American release. And uh, specifically, it'll be all of the licenses for April. So it kind of gives us a nice, convenient chunk there. So let me go ahead and uh, switch over to our view of that. Um, is that what it is? There we go. So let me switch over. So uh, we've, we're starting with a Funimation's license. The first is Mikagura Gakuen Kumikyoku, also known as Mikagura School Suite. This is an anime series that uh, uh, aired just last month in April. It's uh, based on a uh, song series. Um, uh, I believe it's a possibly a video game. I'm not sure. Uh, basically, character enters a, a private high school and has to, or a private school rather, and has to battle different cultural club representatives. So sort of a fighting school uh, show, which uh, again, it's currently airing, uh, Funimation licensed that. Also licensed Heroic Legend of Arslan, the currently running adaptation. This is a very long running uh, novel series. There are, okay, let me check. Um, there are, I think, 14 volumes. Yeah, 14 volumes uh, in the novel series. So a lot of lot of content. It's been adapted several times into manga and anime. This is the current adaptation, started back in April 5th. So Funimation's licensed that. Uh, also, Denpa Kyoshi, AKA Ultimate Otaku Teacher. This is an anime series about um, a, uh, a genius physics student who loses all interest in physics and becomes a neat, AKA a shut-in. Um, but his little sister decides to force him to become a, a teacher, a, a high school teacher. And he decides to do that, but he's basically an otaku. So he's pretty, uh, uh, he's pretty, pretty silly there, um, but he's having a, a good time. Um, it looks like, and basically he, a, a girl has an issue. He helps her with that. And he realizes he likes teaching. So, uh, of him adjusting to that. I haven't actually seen this, but it looks like fun. Uh, started airing back in April, so Funimation's like that as well. Also, Ghost in the Shell Arise Alternative Architecture. The, um, this is basically Ghost in the Shell Arise, the TV series adaptation, which again started back in, in early April, so Funimation will be releasing that as well. Also, I'm trying to remember where, um, yeah, so there's all the Funimation licenses. Pony Canyon's been doing some licensing as well, uh, starting with, uh, uh, Vitreous Flower Destroy the World D Backup, Glass no Hana to Kawasu Sakai, which is one of these weird concepts, science fictional. Um, two characters are fighting enemies called viruses, and then a new girl shows up, uh, which they save. So this is a movie, actually. I don't think it's, has it come out yet. Um, no, it, it's, it's going to come out sometime this year, but uh, that one is uh, licensed by Pony Canyon. We've also licensed Hibiki, I'm sorry, Hibeke, eh. PBK Euphonium, gotta get that right. Recent Kill Annie series about a brass band uh, club member who decides to um, uh, get back into uh, all that and then restart a brass band club. And um, so recent, uh, like I said, uh, Kill Annie series uh, aired back in, starting back in April. So that's also licensed by, that Pony Canyon got that? Yeah, Pony Canyon got that, wow. Uh, also Lance and Masks, AKA L&M, this has not yet been released. Um, young man is the last remaining uh, member of an order of knights called the Knights of the World. He hides his identity, identity behind a mask. It looks like kind of a shonen-y um, action-adventure series. It's called L&M, besides Lance and Masks. So that eh, looks fun and interesting. Um, I think this is the, yeah, that's the cover of the manga. So who knows? Should be interesting. They also got Roka no Yusha, which does not have a an English title yet. Uh, looks like a shonen series similar to in concept to Hakenden, in the sense of being a lot of warriors who are chosen by destiny and sort of come together after being chosen. Except in this case, they find out that one of their members is an imposter. An interesting idea. Um, so we'll have to see where that goes. Um, I'm quite curious actually how all that's going to work out. Um, it's an interesting concept that started, um, it actually hasn't started airing. It starts airing uh, June 30th of this year. So that one got uh, snapped up by Pony Canyon. 
Um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Roka no Yusha is also known as Heroes of the Six Flowers, in case you come across that. Moving on to Sentai Filmworks, they've licensed uh, Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon, which I've seen a, uh, the first episode of that, rather fan service -y, but has some, some neat ideas, set in a, uh, an MMO kind of a world, fantasy world. Um, like I said, a lot of fan service, but uh, interesting and, and fun, and some, some nice characters and character work there. They also picked up, do I have, uh, yes, I do. So let, me, let me pull that back up. So uh, we also got, there we go, uh, Kinero Mosaic, about a 50, 50, ah, excuse me, a 15-year-old Japanese girl who uh, did a homestay in Great Britain, United Kingdom, and has come back to Japan, but uh, two of the girls she was with have, have decided to come back with her. Um, so uh, uh, sort of a mixed comedy about uh, girls, about Japanese girls and British girls in uh, uh, over here in America that aired uh, back in 2013, um, but it, it has now been licensed by and who is that? Uh, Sentai Filmworks. Uh, they've also got a Hokago no Pleiades, which is the recent um, uh, Gainax work, which from the Pleiades, sort of magical girl series, and a giant ad for I believe it's Subaru. They also got Recon, which I don't know if I got. Yeah, Recon. There we go which is one of these recent Spate of Supernatural series. So girl uh, can see spirits, and we see how that kind of impacts her life and, and such. That is currently airing. Uh, they also licensed, um, let's see here, uh, Food Wars, Shokugeki no Soma. Uh, teen boy wants to become a full-time chef. Actually, he, yeah, wants to become a full-time chef in his father's restaurant. Um, fighting spirit, rekindled, elite culinary school, can someone survive? Blah 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 blah. So again, sort of a fairly typical shonen-y uh, action series there, which looks good. Uh, the most recent um, Utano Prince Sama series. Um, oops, that's the wrong one. There we go. I believe it is Love Revolutions, which they've licensed. That's currently airing. Third anime adaptation of the of this series, which is a um, reverse harem series. So girl is surrounded by a bunch of cute guys. In this case, uh, pop idols. Nothing wrong with that. Did they also get a Maggie Brilliant Park? They did. Wow. So another recent Kyoani series, uh, back from 2014, where a young man is brought in to resurrect a failed amusement park. Um, Bonta Kun shows up, as is his want, from uh, which is a Full Metal Alchemist. I'm sorry, Full Metal Panic reference. Bit of fun there. Uh, they also got uh, a few other things. Um, actually, I can switch back on this one. Whoops, sorry guys. We're trying to figure out all these, these things. Uh, they've also licensed uh, Rene, aka Kyokai no Rene, which is the most recent, um, oh, um, uh, Rumiko Takahashi series. That's the creator of, oh, Rama One Half, Inuyasha, Meizo Koku, Urusai Yatsura, um, some of the biggest, you know, shoujo or, or some of the, actually a lot of the Mishonani uh, franchises of the past few decades. So that's your more, most recent manga series. It's been going on for years, and they're finally starting an anime adaptation of that. So that'll be interesting. Um, they've also licensed my teen romantic comedy Snafu 2, which people seem to like a lot. And Vampire Hunter D, the classic uh, anime movie from way back in the day. Uh, this has seen a number of releases over here in America. Very popular thing. The, um, so the novel started in 1983, and the anime film came out in, I don't remember, looking back, um, 85. So 1985 anime film. There was also a, another film, Bloodlust, came out in 2000. But this is a license of, I believe, just the original film, which is cool. Glad to see another classic coming back. Moving on to some uh, licenses from Discotech. I don't think I have um, uh, links for uh, most of these because uh, most of you know about them. Five centimeters per second, the very well-known Makoto Shinkai OVA will be licensed by them. Also, Giant Gorg. So this is an old Sunrise Giant Robot series. Back in the day when the Giant Robot was a basically a, a giant statue god kind of a thing. 
So less of a robot and more of a, uh, of a an object to be directed and sent out there. Indeed, the main character is a boy who literally um, stands on Giant Gorg's head and kind of directs him from there, which is pretty dangerous, uh, which the show actually gets into as well. It was conceived by, um, what's his name? Um, the character designer for original Gundam, uh, who also did Venus Wars, if you've seen that. So a very interesting giant robot series, one of those shows that comes up fairly frequently in histories of giant robot anime as this kind of interesting um, side uh, anime series, which uh, uh, kind of push things in, in interesting directions. Fun thing, I've seen like five episodes of it. Uh, also, finally, the license of Lupin the Third versus Detective Conan, the movie. This was a special movie which is, which has Detective Conan uh, and Lupin the Third in it together, and the you know the various characters show up. And um, I should point out, uh, kind of spoiler alert, well, not really a spoiler, but it, it's not so much Lupin the Third versus Detective Conan as is Lupin the Third and Detective Conan. So they uh, they they kind of work together more than they fight, if you will. Uh, and the it is it is really fun, especially when you know the, the first time the two of them are kind of together, it's a really neat moment. They also licensed Sonic X, which I believe it's, I assume that's not Sonic 10. Um, Sonic X, you know, Eggman has collected all seven of the Chaos Emeralds, uh, is about to have absolute power, Sonic intervenes, an explosion, blah, 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 blah. So um, this is the 2003 to 2004 anime series that they've licensed. Again, Discotech uh, licensing these. They also license uh, Library War, Toshokan Senso, those familiar with that. Uh, kind of interesting series came out in 2008 about a world where, in, in sort of near future, where all books and media are censored. It's sort of a Fahrenheit 451 thing. So instead of burning books, they're just kind of locked away and censored. Um, and so it's about uh, people defending books, which is pretty cool. And then finally, Discotech also licensed Dororo, which, uh, for those who aren't familiar, um, let me just double check here or something. Um, I'm kind of curious what's going on there. Yeah. So this is a an anime series made in 1969 by Osamu Tezuka, godfather of modern manga and godfather of anime. And um, it was a very successful manga that he did, I think three volume manga. And he adapted it into an anime series of I think 26 episodes. Yeah. Which um, uh, has long been unavailable in America, there's a lovely DVD release of it a few years ago in Japan. I actually own that release. And it's a very interesting series, uh, very dark, very twisted. It's considered the prototypical and kind of the, the father of the samurai story, the, the sort of the samurai epic uh, manga story and anime story. So that was, um, that has been licensed by Disc Discotech and they will be releasing it over here in America, which is pretty cool. Uh, finally, a uh, license from Anamatsu. Uh, they they licensed another favorite series. Let me switch over, uh, just so you guys can see. That going. They licensed Chunibyo. Chunibyo demo koi ah. Let's try that again. Chunibyo demo koi ngashitai, aka love Chunibyo and other delusions. Um, have you seen this eye patch girl anywhere? That's what it's all about. You may be familiar with all that. Uh, very popular series from 2012, now licensed and can be brought over here in America soon. So that's pretty cool. And so that is all of the anime that's been licensed for North American release in April. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was useful. And hope you tune in next month for a check at uh, what's been licensed in the meantime. So thanks all for watching.